Oh, you first. Go ahead. I, I always cut in. Okay. Um, well, of course, we listened to this CD. And prior to listening to this CD, we was just in a really, really rough patch. Um, no connection. It was total disconnection. No communication. Uh, the love was just shot. <laughs> but the CD hit on so many areas um, that we needed to reconnect on. The first one that really got me, well, <laughs> one that really got me was uh, number three. What did we say? Talked about the marriage vows. Mm. And it really made me come back to myself and say, okay, I stood before all these people. What did I really say? And was I really saying it because I was in front of these people? Or was I saying it because I truly loved it? Mm. <laughs> so it kind of brought me back and made me think, like, you know what? Just quit tripping. The drama, it ain't even worth it. Get over it, because you really do, at the end of the day, love this man. So that one helped me out a whole lot. <laughs> For me, it was basically the same one, number three. Because I, I, it, it brought me back to where I was thinking of what I said in front of all those people. And I, and I put it into perspective that I was in God's house. I was talking mainly to God and my wife. And I said a promise to the Lord that I was going to stay married forever. <laughs> <laughs> So anything that we fighting about, anything that we were going through at the time, it just seemed meaningless. Because now I'm, I'm saying, God, I was lying to you. I wasn't in for the, in it for the long haul, and that's just not right. So then by the time we got to number 10. <laughs> <laughs> they were when you're making they up. <laughs> it just, it, that was just the icing on the cake. That's that was true. the cap right there. I agree. Oh, I love you. I love you.